Welcome. I'm David Wolf, and I'm here to talk to you about the effects of electromagnetic radiation, dirty electricity, and what you can do to protect yourself. I have an array of devices here, a computer, a mouse, the iPad, the Kindle, some grounding technology, and we are going to settle this for sure right now as to what's happening inside your very own home and how you can rearrange your workspace, your sleeping environment, your children's rooms so that they are not exposed to the dirty electricity that we see all around us all the time. I'm going to take a look now at exactly how much radiation I am being exposed to just sitting here in the middle of this room. Here on this computer readout, you can see what this probe that is attached to my arm is showing. Now I am electrically attached to this probe and it is demonstrating from a range of 20 hertz to 1000 hertz how much electricity is hitting me. That's voltage, that's frequency, that's amperage that's coming at me from all the lights and all these devices that are all around. I want you to look at the ambient voltage that I'm being hit right now and how it changes instantly when I touch this grounding pad at my feet and this grounded mouse pad that we've created at the Longevity Warehouse. And this is going to be shocking and it's irrefutable and indisputable. This is 20 hertz to 1000 hertz. That's the radiation that's hitting me that we have graphically illustrated right before our eyes. It dropped right out. And if I touch this, it drops even more. And if I put both feet on here, it drops even more. And all that you're seeing there, all of that noise, is the background noise of the earth itself. As I move away and I increase the exposure and stop the grounding, boom, it comes right back up. This voltage these frequencies are what we're being exposed to all day long in our workspace, in our bedroom, in our kitchens. It's coming out of all our appliances. You can see right here on the first spike, that's 60 hertz. That's every plug in America and Canada. It's putting out a 60 hertz radiation field. And all of these harmonics that you see are harmonics of that 60 hertz field and also dirty electricity. Watch again as I ground myself. I'm just going to touch this grounded mouse pad. Let's say I was on my computer. I'm being hit by all this voltage, all this electricity, all these frequencies. Boom, I touch that, it drops away instantly. All I have to do is just touch a finger to it. Any part of my skin, anywhere. I can just touch a toe. Watch again. Touching, release. Touching, release. Touching, release. Grounding then, as you can graphically see, pushes off the EMF fields that are hitting me. It helps to protect me and decrease the noise. This is electromagnetic noise. That is dirty EMF. Watch again. If I ground myself, I'm allowing the Earth's antioxidant electrical nutrition to come into my body. And I'm pushing off with that natural negative charge that's coming up from the Earth itself. I'm pushing off all this dirty positive charge. Here we go. Boom. It's pushed off. This grounding pad and this mouse pad are connected to the ground wire of this building. What is the ground wire? The ground wire is that third prong that we see in the, in the U.S. and Canada. And if I plug in here, for example, boom, I can tell, okay, is this really grounded or not? And there we find the two orange lights lighting up when we have a real grounded plug. We did that earlier. We found out that's exactly what's going on with our plugs here. It's truly grounded. So we can get the protection that you see. If I come off again, boom, this is ambient frequency. This is dirty electricity right in the middle of this room. I'm not even touching these devices. Here's what we're going to do now though. We're going to touch these devices. Now we're going to look at voltage. And this is a voltmeter. So I'm going to take off this probe which is connected to that. So that's going to go wonky now because I'm taking that off and I'm going to separate that from me and I'm going to attach this particular probe to me. And there's our voltmeter just sitting in the middle of my room. 
I'm being hit by almost 2 volts, 1.9 volts. Look at that, it's almost at 2 volts. If I was in nature, if I was in the great bosom of a forest, if, was, if I was in the woods, that would be zero. It would be absolutely at zero. Whenever I'm barefoot, it's at zero. Watch when I go barefoot on my desk pad right below me here. Boom. It already instantly dropped it to 26.5 millivolts. As I come off, it's 1.97 volts. That's a very small volt indicator right there, but nevertheless, watch again, boom, 26 millivolts, come off again, 1.9 volts. If I ground here as well, boom, I can get it even lower. Now we're at 14 millivolts. So you see, the more that you can be grounded, the better. But I don't have a device in my hand. Let's see what happens when I have a device in my hand. Let's see how much voltage is coming off a Kindle. Are you ready? Let's have a look. So I'm going to pick up the Kindle. Well, I'm going to get ungrounded first. Uh-oh. Let's see what happens here. Four volts. This little device in your child's hand is four volts. In your hand is four volts it's emitting. Watch what occurs when I ground. It drops it to 64, 48, 47 millivolts. Again, I release 3.8 volts. 100 times decrease. Look at that. Boom. 100 times decrease in, in voltage that's hitting me. So we see that. Now if I touch my desk pad and I touch my mouse, we've dropped it now to 18 millivolts. From literally 4 volts to 18 millivolts. That's somewhere around a 200 times decrease in the voltage that's hitting me. We're going to put this down. We are now going to look at this iPad. Ooh, ooh. Look at the voltage here. Look at this. I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to slide it open. Let's say I'm punching in my numbers here, my code and all that. 24 volts. 24 volts of electricity are hitting me right now. That is one of the highest numbers I've ever seen. I've been grounding myself for years. I've been playing around with devices for years. That is absolutely outrageous. When I touch the grounding desk pad here, look what happens. It dropped to 0.72 volts, 0.73 volts. And if I'm touching this and I'm touching my iPad, and then I ground here, look at that. It dropped it to 205 millivolts. 100 times decrease. Let go of everything, look what happens. It jumps right back to 24 volts. This grounding technology is absolutely essential for protection. It also gives us energy. When I'm grounded and I'm working at my computer, and by the way, I always unplug my computer when I'm working at my computer because when there's a direct connection from the electrical line right to my computer, right to me, that's when I get readings like 24 volts, okay? But when I unplug, watch what's going to happen. I'm going to unplug this now. I've got 24 volts, okay? So I take that away, boom. The voltage drops right out of the picture. So now I've got a completely different reading. Now if I ground, I can pull it down again. So we went from 24 volts to 2 volts. We ground, we drop it down to 26, 25 millivolts. This is what we're talking about here, folks. We have kids today that have their devices plugged in. They're playing around with it in their bed. They're being exposed to a huge amount of voltage, like 24, 25 volts, and nobody knows why they're irritated. Nobody knows why they have the ADHD. Nobody knows why they have the hyperactivity. Now we're starting to know. The Earth is naturally negatively electrically charged. This is a static charge, and it's an irritant. And we don't know exactly how to discharge it generally, but we just found out here what to do. We walk outside barefoot, boom, it's pushed off of us. If I just step on here, boom, it's pushed off of us. We can change our internal environment in our homes by having this grounding technology around. And you feel it. As I was alluding to, when I have the grounding technology and I'm working and I have my computer unplugged, what's happening is I'm getting energy from the earth, which is wonderful. And I feel it. 
when I'm hooked in here and I'm grounded, boom, that's the natural electricity of the earth and it's nourishing. It's actually electrical nourishment. We are electrical creatures way before we're chemical creatures. This mouse pad, this desk pad are essential to every single person using a computer in the world. The knowledge of what I'm sharing here is essential to every single person who's working at a computer or working near appliances in the world. Once we understand this, we can protect ourselves, we can protect our family, we can transform our homes, we can change our work environments, and we can begin to see a future where our technology works for 100% of humanity 100% of the time. I'm David Avocado Wolf. I want to thank you for joining me. Have the best.